Hey guys, today I'm doing a first look of the Coastal Scents Elite Brush Set. Here is the box right here. Um, I received this about three weeks ago and I did purchase this with my own money. I actually bought it on Amazon.com. Um, I waited to do the review for you guys to, to make sure that it is available through Coastal Scents uh, before doing that and it is now in stock again for $69.95 I believe plus shipping and handling and again it's CoastalScents.com. This is the box right here. It is a the whole set you get you get 24 elite brushes and all of it is in the back right here and they're all synthetic with bamboo handles and black ferrules the names are in the back of this right here it's actually on the back of the box because it's not listed on the actual brush so let's go ahead and take a look this also comes with this really nice um, pleather case it's pretty sturdy I don't know if you guys are familiar with the 22 brush kit from Coastal Sense it's similar to that except this is a little bit more sturdier it does have a little pocket right there as you can see this is the entire brush set for you I will actually go over them individually so you can take a look these brushes are very very soft um, the first one is the flat buffer it's similar to the one that they have on the 22 piece set. This is actually a, a must have brush for me um, from, the 20, from the 22 brush kit because I use this for powder to set my powder. It's very, very soft um, and this is actually softer than the one that I have. I love this brush and I use it every day. Not this particular one obviously, but similar to this from Coastal Sense and I've purchased a couple more individually similar to this. It's got numbers on here. Um, no name though but just some numbers I think this one's like B45 and something like that um, it's pretty sturdy the next one right here is the powder brush again very soft um, I think what this is is obviously it's good for you know powder brushes or you can use them for blushes if you like this is the two just comparing the two um, this is really soft. The next one is a tapered powder brush. I really like this for contouring, you know, using it for, you know, bronzer. You can use it for uh, blushes too. It's got a nice point to it and it's very, very soft. Um, this next one right here is an angled brush. Also good for contouring, for highlighting. Uh, very, again, very soft. Very dense. This is a really, I mean, I would definitely consider this very elite and uh, different from their regular brushes. This is a multi-purpose brush. It's a flat multi-purpose brush. There's a few the, s similar ones like this in the entire kit. I think there's three of them total, but I don't really know what to use that one for yet. This is a foundation brush. Um, very dense, uh, stiff. I do like this brush. I don't use it for foundation though, usually for concealer. This next brush right here is a blender brush, or I'm sorry, it's a pointed, precision pointed brush. And this is great for um, concealer as well. This next one is a blender brush. It's a really big shader brush. If you ask me, it's great to pack on color all over the lid. Very stiff. This is that flat tip shadow brush that you can, it's good for tight lining and this is comparing the two from the multi-purpose and this flat one right here. The next brush is the dome shadow brush. I like that this is really stiff. Um, you can create, like if you want to do like a cut crease look, it's good for your eyelids. Um, this is a fan brush. It's really flimsy. This is not my favorite one, but it's still good for highlighting. This next one right here is a doe foot brush. Um, this is also good for concealer or just packing in the color. It's a really flat brush. I like this one. The next one right here is the pointed crease brush, which is pretty dense as well. I like it. This one, this one is also good for just the, the crease for shading the crease. This is a nice blender brush. This reminds me of the 217. It's great to pack on color as well as for blending. This next brush right here is the um, small shadow brush. Or I'm sorry, not the small shadow brush, but it's the 
it's not the dome, but it's more of like a, it says it's for brows, but I don't think you can use it to just use for the lower lid. But this is the small shadow brush right here. It's great, it's great for precision. This is an angled brush, angled shadow. This is kind of small. Again, it's great for like for more precision I look. This next one right here is another one of those um, flat tip shadow, good for tight lining. Here's the three in comparison in the different sizes, but this is the three that I was telling you about. So these are they're flat. They're good for tight lining, um, the smaller ones at least. This next one right here is a small shadow brush as well. It's really fine and sturdy. This one right here is a detailed pointed. Just going by the name in here, um, these are really good for more precision application. This one is a mini detail brush. That's what it's called. It's very flat. Uh, you can use this for eyebrows or your lips. This next one right here is, I believe, an angled eyeliner. Here it is. Also good for your brows or using a gel liner. And then you've got your fine liner. It's good for eyeliner, gel liners again. It, you know, you can choose your preference either when you get both in this kit right here. And then, of course, you have the angled liner, which is the last brush that is included in this kit. Overall, I really like this kit. Um, the packaging is really nice, um, but more importantly, the brush itself is very, very nice. They're soft. They're all synthetic, and they're very, very soft. Um, you can tell that they did, you know, they put some thought in making these this brush set right here. It's different from the regular brush set that you normally get, and I do highly recommend it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And